a, a, a monumental album with three other legends. Yeah. Talk about that project and and why you felt why all of y'all felt like it was necessary. Well, you know, uh, Mount Westmore. That's a, um, a idea that was conceived by um, E Forty and his team. That that they brought it to uh, Ice Cube's plate and was like, "What you think about this idea?" And Cube was like, "I like it." They hit me up, and I I probably joined on the quickest. I'm like, "I'm in. Don't even, you ain't got to mm-hmm. run it down to me. I'm in." Mm-hmm. And then we all called Snoop. And Snoop was like, shit, you crazy? I'm, uh, hell yeah, I'm in. And it was just, it was an idea that was born from all of us doing shows together. And we'd be doing, we'd be on these shows, we'd see each other backstage taking pictures and shit, kicking it. You know, the, the West Coast uh, review would be like, you know, us four would be on the show. It could be a DJ Quick, a Warren G. You know, it, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a the usual suspects on the show. Mm-hmm. And... Every time we do that lineup, it'd be an arena sold out. Mm-hmm. So, you know, guys like 40, man, they real smart businessmen. And then my f- was like, we sitting at home, 2020, doing nothing. And, you know, the phone call started. And the phone call went around. Mm-hmm. The, the famous call, we all called each other. It's like, well, let's do it, man. And it was, a, it was a beautiful thing because at that point in our career, you know, everybody's solid legend, solid. And we don't need the we don't need an A and R, we don't need nobody to pick beats, we don't need nobody to organize for us, we don't need nobody to book sessions for us. We literally uh, have done this shit so many f- times. It's like saying your ABCs or something, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the 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 formula was um, somebody would rap a verse on a beat, could be a verse or a hook or a verse and a hook. And they would send it to this group text that we all were on. And nobody ever said, a song would pop up. I, I don't think nobody ever said, that's dope. <laughs> Anything like that. It didn't even. It wasn't even that type of vibe where mm-hmm. motherfuckers were like, man, I like the way you spit that. And nothing. Like, send it, put a song up. And nobody would say shit. And then probably later that day, the next day, the song would pop up again and it would have two verses on it. And nobody would be like, I like going with that nothing then that motherfucker pop up and it'd be three verses and then it just kept going like it, the first probably like 15 16 songs was in like about the first two weeks it just full songs to hook everything and you know it was it was not all hit 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 mm-hmm. you put up a song your verse on it pop it in you know you and your studio vibing to it and then that it just never pop back up. Like, like <laughs> nobody would touch it, and you just, you know, that's how you know it wasn't. Wasn't no feelings. We were all A and R in the album, so right. it get to a point where we have a conversation about it. Be like, like so and so, why you ain't put no verse on that one? Like, I ain't really feeling that one. Be like, why you ain't feeling it? You know, I ain't really like the subject. Think about it. It's been beat down too many times. And blah blah blah. And then you know, real logical brothers talking about some real logical, shit, and that song just might not make it. We had a lot of songs. That caught three people's attention and didn't get the fourth. They ain't gonna make it. it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And you know, it it just the formula happened so fast. We 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 were making songs. You got four solo artists. Like my thing as a solo artist is three sixteens and a hook. That's my job. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know now it's a two it's a two it's a two verse world now. Sometimes even time one. Yeah, I'm about to say <laughs> time but, one. I'm a three sixteens in the hook. Yeah. That's that's your homework. Yeah. You got to write a song. So when you tell me, nigga, your job now is sixteen bars, man. We, that's we didn't, easy. We didn't stop till we got the about forty eight songs. Damn. I was okay. like, let's just go to fifty, make it an even number. We, but motherfuckers, that's enough. So dope. Never gonna settle. Never gonna settle. All I do is get better. All I do is get cheddar. Pulling up, blowing pressure. Outlaw forever. Yeah.